do you think we're going to get up there? Maybe, maybe you could go on my shoulders. And, and then we put Rodrigo. Could go on your shoulders. And we'll have the we'll look like a Chinese circus. Have you a look at those guys? <laughs> <laughs> so we got a really big challenge for today. This is something that we've all been talking about how we're going to do. And we just, I don't know if we really still have an idea. But we need to get up here. We need to run a beam all the way across. And if you look at what's below, well, it's a, it's a hillside. <laughs> I think when you run out of ideas, the only thing you can do is start swinging a pickaxe and just hope it all works out. Yeah. <laughs> up on the other beam first, but it needs to go, it needs to go this way. Oh. We can have. Almost. Almost there, bro. Almost. Nice. Nice. If we go to 181 and 5 it. Alright, so we, we really do have a full house up in here today. Chickens want to help. Cat wants to help. Look at the cat wants to weld. <laughs> uh oh. Ahora? Don't come too close to the chickens, no, little one. Is... So we're putting these carriolas out because I need to be able to walk out here to weld. Look at how makeshift all this is right now. God. I mean, what would people be doing in the streets? They'd probably bring in like a crane and like yeah. lift them up. Yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. They'd do like a cherry picker, you know, and be like on this hyd hydraulic stuff. <laughs> Maybe I should just start off by telling my mother and my father. I'm sorry. You wanna watch me walk the plank? Oh God, love, stop it. Put your hands on the V at least. <laughs> sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry, Doug. <laughs> So Rodrigo's going in. He's going for it. He's gonna try to do a little well. I told you guys last time, we're always trying to teach people how to do stuff. Even though we're like very mediocre at everything, we somewhat try to teach others how to do it. We're just praying that they're better at it than we are. <laughs> yeah. Come on, brother, you got it. Because it's new, smack it against the metal a little bit to knock the tip off. Yeah. Love, how do you do? <laughs> Better than me my first time. <laughs> Better than me for my first two months. <laughs> That's the thing about Rodrigo. He's a su he's such a quick learner. It's unreal. Very skilled. Yeah, very skilled. Jordan's safety depends on how much breakfast I had today. <laughs> how much did you? Two eggs. That's it. Oh my god. And avocado. Look at this right now. Oh no. Wait, let me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> stay. Everyone, stay right there. Okay. You're in a good spot, love? You sure? Yep. Rodrigo's over there taking a little cat nap. <laughs> there's a saying here of how there's always one person working and five guys standing around. Which is kind of funny because we were just using that reference a couple weeks ago when we were building the greenhouse. So it looks like these two guys aren't really doing much of anything. But they're helping distribute the weight for Jordan so he can stand out basically on this plank. <laughs> oh God. Perfecto. You got it? So we just put this face plate on here to cover up this hole. Yeah. How does it look? It looks great, love. I think we're almost all done with this side. We got one more beam to put it in and then it's all done. Let's do one it. One more beam and one more plate. One more beam and one more plate. Perfect. Again, I saw him falling. You want to see my new trick? Oh, not really. <laughs> All right, I guess that's not bad. The Panamanians have come to the high board. This is Rodrigo preparing his first dive. <laughs> he gives a little shimmy. Today we're expecting the double backflip, triple spinny, flippy dip. <laughs> no, let's not, let's not do that today. <laughs> we have to put Rodrigo out there so I can hold the weight. Because I'm the fattest. <laughs> and if I went out there, whoever's sitting on this end might be catapulted up into the air. 
We attempted that with me earlier. I could just feel the thing like lifting up a little bit. I was like, we get away by Rodrigo, man. <laughs> Get up there, love. Yeah, it's kind of going on a little bit weird. You know, ah! You know, right in it. <laughs> you might just need to do a couple coats. Yeah, I think so. So we're trying to be smarter and not keep moving the scaffolds back and forth and back and forth. So we're getting everything all done up here. Kid is going to paint all this roof structure black, and Rodrigo and I are over here. And what we're actually going to do is build a little platform coming up here. So we need to be able to get up here. You see these? See these two silver beams? We need to run two cariolas all the way across, just like all these are. But how are we gonna get up there? So what we decided to do, not only is weld pieces of metal coming off of here, so we can have put the scaffolding over here, I think we're just gonna build a little deck. Our plan is to have a garage door that opens up here anyway, so we can see the volcano. It'd be so cool if we could just walk out onto a little four foot deck that's gonna be underneath the roof. This is always the best part of the day. Look at this, bro. What do we got? What do we got? So we got some just regular white rice, beets, sweet potatoes, onions, broccoli, chickpeas, and my special peanut sauce. I was super zoomed in that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, love. You're welcome. And some hot sauce. Just like I said, everyone's learning how to weld, everyone's learning how to cut metal, everyone's learning how to do everything. So now, we got Kaylee underneath the mask. She's laying down some welds. How do you think? Not too shabby. I mean, it's not beautiful, but what I think mean? it's strong. What do you mean? That's pretty good, though. But she's ain't going anywhere. Just the bottom, you see the little hole yeah, right there? Right there. Yeah. All right, Rodrigo, I'm gonna start a new segment on the show. <laughs> this new segment is called Three Questions for Rodrigo. Okay. Question number one, are you in school and what are you studying? So I'm in the college, I'm studying an English degree. I'm in the second year. Second year? Yeah. Second question, do you live with your parents or do you live alone? I live alone by myself um, since, since like one and a year. Since you, since you were 18 years old, you lived by yourself? Yeah, yeah, since I was 16, uh, 18 years old. Okay. Question number three. What do you want to be when you grow up? I just want to be happy, bro. You just want to be happy? I just want to be happy. That's, I don't... That's the only thing that I want. That's the I best want to answer. be happy. That's the best answer. That's what it's all about. Give me five. <laughs> ah. Okay, we're just finishing up this weld over here. Look at her go from the enemy. The underneath welds are hands down the hardest. Because when you're welding, if you guys haven't done it before, you're like, you have this puddle and you're kind of just like working this puddle along and it's hard to have a puddle of something when you're upside down because it'll just drip. And every once in a while, it'll drip right on you. Look at this, that's the result. You'll just get a massive hole in your shirt. <laughs> How'd it go? Oh, 
Tough, huh? Not bad, yeah, it is really tough. You can do one more pass over it if you want to just... Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get all like the little holes, you know? She's doing it better than you, sorry. She's doing it better than me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can weld it. I've been welding for like three weeks straight. Love, I'm down. I'm down to, to, to pick up some game, but you might start having to cook some of the lunches. Here, right? <laughs> I'll cook lunch like no one's business. <laughs> Kaylee and I got in a little argument today because I was upset about how unhealthy we've been eating. Dude, he was mad that we got ice cream yesterday. <laughs> we got ice cream yesterday. I've been, I've been telling her, I was like, we need to start eating healthier. And she's like, I'll, I'll help you. I have this problem where I'll like, I can't just eat one bite of a chocolate bar. I eat the whole chocolate bar. This is not a problem. So Rodrigo, you gotta put us in line, bro. It's all, it's all your fault. He, need, he, he brought us lollipops today. Are you trying to get me fat? Come on, bro, you're already fat. <laughs> Let's call it there, amigo. Starting to rain. Sound good? Yeah. Yes. Check out how strong this is. Any bend? No bend, bro. No bend? We gotta pack it up, you guys. It's starting to rain. Man, I don't think running a welder in the rain is very good. We need to head into town. I'm super excited to show you guys. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 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 we got the key. Tenemos llaves. Yave! <laughs> See, my friend? We got it. We got it, baby. <laughs> let's go inside. All right, so go. I actually haven't even seen this place yet. And neither has Rodrigo, right? I came here. Oh, you he's seen it. I haven't even seen it yet. We're really, really happy that not only did we manage to keep our location for a little while longer, uh, but also we're getting the factory, baby. Heck A new yes. place. The headquarters, yes. baby. Headquarters. Yes. Morning Movement Headquarters. Morning, morning Movement. Welcome to the park. Wow. <laughs> hey, a shower. No way. Aww. <laughs> oh, wow, this is a pretty nice bathroom. It's gonna take a shower in the sink. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Open for business. <laughs> You've officially been pimped. <laughs> 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 that just ruined the whole moment. <laughs> It's official, baby. So this is what we're thinking. We're gonna, this is gonna be like our roasting room. We're gonna put a big, first of all, we gotta get the echo out of here if you can hear how echo it is. Maybe do like a big wooden wall, a yeah. big wooden accent wall. Maybe like a roaster over here, a bunch of bags of coffee over here, a big cupping table over here. This is where we're gonna film all of our morning movement YouTube videos. I'm super, there's so much, like so much already that's running through my mind. Absolutely. We're gonna make it happen. Yeah, Just have too many yeah. ideas that we need to work through right now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all of our all of our brains and our, our creative juices are just flowing like crazy right now. It's like working with a blank canvas. So there's so much potential. We're all very, very And if excited. you have any ideas, let us know. <laughs> let us know. Let us know. Are you out of your mind? It's so cold out. Dude, I haven't showered in two and a half days. Oh. I've been putting this off. It's been pouring rain by the end of the day. It's I'm freezing out, but I'm doing it. I'm whipping off and I'm going for it. Exciting day. We've been working on this roof now for what a week. Yeah, yeah, about that. I think we're gonna finish it today. We've been telling you guys we're gonna finish the roof today. For what we, what we mean by the roof is the roof structure. It's probably gonna take a little bit more time to put the panels up. Put the panels, but the roof yeah. structure. But the roof structure, which is the most important part, is probably gonna be done today. It's also the most dangerous part. So I guess we'll refer to this as the back deck. So step number one, we need to finish the back deck, and all we're gonna do is just put some support pieces right here. So when we put the scaffolding on, we don't fall down 18 feet. So this part that we're about to do is essentially the last part of putting the, the frame structure of the roof on. And 
it's the most scary part Good. because as you can see this side let me show you this side there is a much higher drop from the top of the roof down to the ground whereas over here there's a hillside so you have a little bit more security with the ground being a little bit closer i think i'm gonna go give them a hand So we're trying to move these scaffolds as little as possible because it's very challenging and it's kind of dangerous. So we moved this one over here. Rodrigo's just gonna tack weld these two carriolas, which is the silver pieces here going across. He's just gonna tack weld them in place. And then we need to put a frame piece going all the way along the outside. So all these studs on the end, right here, we need to run one more carriola going all the way along. So rather than move this now, we're just gonna keep it here we're gonna tack weld those in place, and then we're gonna do something that I don't even know how we're gonna do it yet. <laughs> All right, so we just extended the piece of carriola by five feet for a total of 25 feet. And now we need to cut these tabs off because the idea is we want to be able to push the carriola onto the end of the beams. Yeah, so this this part here, this and this, we're gonna cut off. So it's gonna be like this instead of like that. Okay, bro. That's it. Another day, another video without getting the structure of the roof done. I think we've told you four videos or three videos in a row. It's just uh, slow progress. There's, the rain is really what slows us down. It's been on and off all day, so we've been stopping and starting and stopping and starting. But once it's all done, nothing's gonna stop us because at least we'll have some protection to run the generator, the welder, the grinder. But this is where we gotta call it for now. Oh my gosh. Jordan was just laughing at me. Cause I have this really bad habit where when I'm about to talk to the camera, talk to you guys, I always make some sort of like noise. <laughs> Whether it's like a sigh or like a deep breath or something. So we're tired. We're gonna hit the hay. We love you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out.